Alright everyone, Vastu here and welcome back to another uh, update video on Dokken Battle. Uh, this is um, news for JP and Global. Uh, for the Global news, I'm a bit late on it, but I just wanted to do it on this video along with this right here that we can see on the JP version of Dokken. There is a new stage for uh, Super Vegito coming. As you can see right here, uh, pretty sure this is probably going to be a Super 2 stage. So, pretty much, they, this could be the next uh, Dokken Festival for JP, a new Super Vegito, which pretty much will it'll be like the third stage on the Super Vegito event. And then I'm guessing it's still the same amount of medals, maybe, or it could just be different medals like. Uh, like how gold tanks, physical gold tanks has, is on the same stages. On the, well, it's on the same event, but it has different medals to Dokken Awaken in. But anyways, though, this is pretty much it for the Vegeta. I don't know anything more on him. Uh, I don't know what his typing is gonna be. If I were to guess, I'd say he will be strength. Maybe I'm not really too sure. Uh, Actually, since based on based on the category category leads, there's already tech, physical, strength, and uh, int. But since pretty much we already have a agility Super Vegito, I don't think he's going to be agility. So I really don't know what typing he's going to be. But I'm pretty sure this uh, new Super Vegito is going to be a category lead category lead I'm not really sure on for what though uh, he I doubt it's going to be guitar fusion because there's only like four guys that you can actually use on the team uh, base form Vegito super Vegito super Saiyan blue Vegito and then Kibito Kai which I oh yeah and merge them also too but I don't really there's that's not a full team but either way uh pretty much i don't know what he's gonna be he could be a blue saga category so it could be buhan in there ultimate gohan super vegito super saiyan 3 goku so maybe uh super saiyan 3 go tanks maybe super saiyan 3 vegeta if uh it depends but if it is a blue saga category then or blue arc category then uh Pretty much, I think the only LR that we can use is LR Majin Vegeta, which he has been introduced in quite a bit categories. But either way, uh, moving on onto the global side, we have LR Goku Black coming on the 30th. So this is, uh, I'm pretty sure, today's the 27th from recording. So in three days we're going to get Goku Black uh, pretty much he is the 90% lead for tech type so if you guys actually pull him he's really amazing and he'll make a tech the tech team really good too if you have a uh, max Saiyan, angel Goku super Saiyan 3 go tanks a double LR Goku Black team and then whoever else you want uh, tech is going to be really good and if I manage to pull him, it's gonna be a pretty interesting team for me to use. But uh, yeah, this is the card that you're gonna get. You can farm his super attack from doing the Goku Black stage, stage one. On Z Hard, you can get the attack Goku Blacks that you can put into him as SA level. I'm pretty sure they come out as SSRs, I'm not too sure about that. But you can get them up to SA 10, then after you doken him, He'll, it'll be the 70% and it'll be Goku Black and Zamasu, you cannot farm their supers and then I don't really remember the medals for him but after you make him into an LR he will be tech type, he plus 3, HP attack, defense, 90% so yeah this is one of my favorite arts also for LRs uh, besides him it will be LR Gohan since I don't know about any other LR but also now from, I'll go over these guys in a bit, 
now we're going to be seeing Vegito Candy. So, uh, on the 31st, Halloween, I don't know if they're going to give him us on uh, the gifts. But, if there's a little mini story event, whatever, that we actually do and we get this Vegito, uh, I'm going, personally, I'm going to make him SA-10. If, I'm, if, if he's farmable, I'm going to make him SA-10 and get all dupe halves unlocked and I'm going to try and make him 100%. Uh, I currently am working on Bio Broly. He's not really an amazing unit, but uh, I'm going to put him on a video soon. Well, not soon, but whenever I manage to actually pull a good lead for him to show him off. And I don't know if he's really worth the orbs, but pretty much I am putting him for dodge, which is the same thing I'm putting for this Vegito. Uh, I'll give him the crit, and then everything else I'll try to go for dodge if I'm able to. It's because uh, this guy is basically dodging king now. Since he's a free, free unit, pretty much, and his uh, passive skill is a high chance to evade enemies attack, including super attacks. So it's kind of similar to Janemba. And then disables enemies enemies guard uh, that's not really useful and then if you go up in a I guess if you go against Kid Boo and yeah Kid Boo event your HP gets goes up from uh, the candy I don't think Boo Hunt has the candy I'm pretty sure it's just Kid Boo and then uh, his link skills the more than meets the eye and fighter shock and speed over in the flash Power bestowed by God and Supreme Power. And then his leader skill is attack and defense 7% per key spear obtained. So he, he's pretty much a nuclear lead for all types and any orb at all, too. And then his uh, super attack is Amazing Rush, causes supreme damage with a rare chance to stun. So if you're able to actually farm him, I'm going to pump as much uh, dodge as I can because. I might not make him a main unit in my team, but pretty much I'll put him on my tech, free-to-play tech team. And starting off, I have these all these Baba units, they actually now awaken into a 70% lead for HP attack defense, key plus 3 for their respond, corresponding type. So of course Krillin is tech type, key plus 3 HP attack defense, 70% and the same thing for Napo. Great Saiyan Man, Deborah, and Master Roshi. Uh, Trillin is an amazing unit for a free to play tech team. He's pretty much having a double Go Tanks lead. And I don't know if, if you make him. Yeah, if you get him up to max S SA, they super early. But I'm not really going to try and do that. But pretty much what Trillin does is. Uh, Key plus 2 and then a great chance of attack and defense 30% for his passive. It's pretty much the same thing for all the other guys. They have pretty much the same links. There might be like one or two links different. Uh, so best buddies, courage, experienced fighters, turtle school, rival duel, Z fighters, and shattering limit. They pretty much all have shattering limit. And Deborah is actually pretty good on a extreme int since he does give key plus 2. So it's a pretty good uh, support unit. And then, if you guys don't have that unit, or at least lead, and if it's less than 70%, then you guys could use this, these guys as the leaders. So, what you're going to be needing to buy, because you use Zenny to get the Ghost Usher medals, uh, in the same place that you buy the Hercule medals, you buy these medals for the same amount, I'm pretty sure it's 1 million Zenny, and you require, I believe, 7? I'm not too sure, I'll check in a bit. So you get these and you awaken these guys. So here, uh, Iron Fist of Justice, Great Saiyan Man. When he Dokans, you use seven medals. Yeah, so you can purchase all of these units on Global for 30,000 and on sale is 21,000 Bob points. So then after he awakens, it, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, just a little bit different lanes. And then they all pretty much super early I'm pretty sure not this guy, it's SA10, he 
basically just gets a bit stronger. Uh, Krillin supers early, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Krillin supers early. He's he has a farm level super, so the Bio Bull event, if it's still out, farm as much of these uh, Krillins that you can. They're SSRs, and you can pretty much pump them into the Krillin, which I'm actually gonna try and do. Uh, this Debora, pretty much, uh, he supers early also. When he's SA10, you can use the SR strength for the Bora. And then Master Roshi, I don't, yeah, you can use these Mo Roshis to raise the super attack. And I don't know if he supers early. I don't think he does. Yeah, he, pretty, he doesn't. He just gets a bigger buff. And this Nap also gets a bigger buff, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so they get a 30% buff for when they're supering. So pretty much, these guys are pretty good, pretty cool. Uh, Free to play units for leaders. This brings uh, free to play teams to the next level. So, if before the best lead for strength was Grandpa Gohan, now you can use this Roshi. I'm pretty sure I think this Roshi can actually be linked up with uh, with Gohan. And I don't know who's the best lead. Yeah, he. This guy could be pretty good. He's a, I have him on SA10, but so yeah. Either way though, guys, these are the units that are coming on Global, and then we already know what's coming on JP. So if you guys enjoyed this video and actually learned what's coming on, uh, comment down below what guy you're looking forward to seeing. Uh, for me, I just went to Krillin and the uh, Debora on my Global account. And then Super Vegito for my tech team also, free to play tech team. Uh, might try him on a my mono tech since I don't have Angel Goku. And then on JP I will try out this event and I'm pretty sure later today uh, we're going to get on JP the new mode. Uh, I will try that out and then pretty much I'm pretty sure that's how you get the LR Gohan. I'm not too sure, I'll look into it later. So anyways guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.